What's up? Name's Rec. I'm a coach. And yes, I am very sick at the moment, but I do want to get through as many of these VODs as I can because I do have a bit of a backlog for uh, my other videos. So yeah, I apologize for sounding like hell. I actually did sound worse than this over the past few days, but yeah, I'm kind of at a point now where I'm going to try and get some of these out before I crash out again. So yeah, uh, don't ever say I didn't work hard enough. <laughs> anyway, this is a gold for League of Legends video for Blade Frenzy. Congratulations, Blade Frenzy, on winning your coupon. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a sample for that. Now, this is an Ash ADC VOD. So let's go quickly go over the runes. <clears throat> we have PTA, Presence of Mind, Bloodline, Coup de Gras, with Boots and Approach Velocity, and Standard Shards. Now, a few things you should change automatically. First things first, a lot of people are still defaulting to the healing rune rather than presence of mind. Unless you are like hyper, hyper, hyper aggressive, you can still function it. But truthfully, if you're just going to farm, it's pretty much the ADC prerogative. It still has value to go ahead and take the healing rune. I've forgotten the name of it. It is uh, absorb life. That's right. Absorb life. And then because Ash functions better as <clears throat> as an on hit carry rather than caring about life steal, you should be taking alacrity rather than bloodline because it gives more for the value over time and you're more focused on doing like damage output rather than any actual sustain uh you can go cut down depending on matchup but it's really just dependent on like what specific things you'll be doing in lane uh you also want to take biscuits rather than boots because you want to go for the early boots purchase as like we're talking like you know five minute boot uh, berserker greaves type of thing because it will actually like be easier for you to manage and do all and do everything else. So it's not worth having that in the hand. So yeah, that's how you should be angling it. So let's get into it, shall we? 38 minute game. Whoa, pressure's on. Pressure is on indeed. Well, yes, there is someone on his team named Poos. How interesting. <sighs> And Jake Paul, which is the more egregious name there? Let's be honest. <laughs> All right, so we have a Blitz Invade. Love to see it. <sighs> Let's see how this works out, huh? Oh, he's used it. Oh, he misses it. That is mildly unfortunate. I, I don't mind that you've gone barrier here. <clears throat> it's probably the better greedy choice available, so I, you know, I rate it. Um, you obviously want to just make your choices based around like you know specific lane matchups and things like that. It is a bit of a rarity to go heal, at least in higher ranks, depending on like you know what is going on and so on. But yeah, really just depends on how it's being played out. Since this is gold, I'm not really expecting this to be like well placed but you have at least duffed Shekhar's opening so well done it's a very easy start indeed here's the real question are they waiting for you here certainly looks like it oh wait Shekhar support never mind I thought it was Shekhar going for the buff even funnier. I mean, Chaka's the better target here. Because he's, you know, right there. And can't... You realize Chaka doesn't have Q either. Like, he was a very easy target. I don't know why we didn't just get... Okay, so here's the thing, right? <clears throat> just just for reference, when you're making this, like, this trek into lane, the only thing Chaka can do is play around his boxes because he's obviously... He's level one. He's already taken some damage. He's a very easy target. If neither of you ping for that, it only makes this worse... And <clears throat> since you've already used Trinket as well, like the better choice is to just go for the Shekhar because it's a further run. He has to flash out and you want to force him away as fast as possible here. But if you don't go for the same target, you automatically lose out. Two cancelled autos. Wasted. Oh dear. I see. He does have barrier too. I wouldn't say that was particularly... Uh, so you wasted both your summoners for that and he didn't spend anything apart from like sorry he you 
<clears throat> wasted both summoners. He only spent one, and even then, he was not even close to guaranteeing a a kill, which is it's not the worst, but the likelihood of you getting ganked despite that is still. Really, oh, there we go. I mean, he has used flash. So that is kind of funny. God, what what a shit show. If I only just started, it's already getting confusing. I assume there'll be another hex flash momentarily. It's very silly. This is a very silly match, as you can tell. This is very confusing to all involved. <clears throat> there is a higher chance that you're going to get killed by the tower than anything else here right now. And that on its own irks me. This is also why Absorb Life is much more like gratifying in this case as well. Because at the very least, you'll be uh, working on that as well. I just realized you're running with target champions only on and are still like clicking outside of that for things. That's not the worst way to go about it, but attack moving is only going to get weirder if you don't play this out correctly. I mean, we did know that was coming. You know, it is level two. He doesn't have the means to burst you down yet, so there's probably still a means for you to actually win this fight, but you have to hang on to your mana, so you can actually use your W to peel for yourself. This is just those gaming for you, everyone's just throwing shit out everywhere. It's kind of hard to go on about like an early game plan, but the main thing you have to understand, right, is that when you're in this position, you only want to be able to like play out your distance so that you know that Checo can go over the wall, right? That's like his main prerogative. So if you're playing on this angle and you see that animation go off, all you have to do is just hit your fan in that direction. That automatically makes his life difficult when he wants to like run at you. <clears throat> you need to be able to use that to your advantage, which is exactly what is going on here, which is exactly why this is incredibly easy because he can't kill you that way. Problem is it took so long to actually realize that that was coming, but I mean, it's a good trade. It's just very, it's just very unnecessary for that to happen like that. But yeah, you could have got boots off that as well and you wouldn't have had this problem at all. <clears throat> this is a very, very awkward start. You have 13 CS at this point in time as well. Mr. Blade Frenzy, you are in dire need of CSing. I think having target champions only is kind of duffing your thing here because you should be able to, oh, just wait till you get back to the lane so I can show you. But what you should be able to do, provided that you are actually like doing it correctly, is that like you should be able to directly like click in an area and also use that movement to your advantage in this like small box. So like you want to like try and move around in this sort of space, and then just attack, move, click on the thing. But with target with target champs only stuck on, the problem is that uh, in some cases <clears throat> you will not be attacking the area. You will not be attacking the area around where you're trying to go, and that is why you will end up missing some of it. Unless you have the settings set like towards that, it's not so bad. But like, yeah, there's just a few issues with that because it's not allowing you to actually get any CS at all. Like, we're five minutes in and you have 17 CS. Like, this is not not good, right? <clears throat> and I get that there was fighting early on, but this is not the kind of fighting that results in anything other than just plain sadness. You need to be able to multitask in that regard. I mean, I could be wrong, and this could be just uh, purely a, uh, a visual problem, but I'm pretty sure that is with you having target champions wedged on this whole time, and you not being able to actually, like, <clears throat> attack move around minions without any trouble at all, because you have to, like, directly click on it each time. Which isn't so bad if you're just doing pure movement, but I mean, running this far forwards for a kill doesn't mean a whole lot if you're not going to CS. Like, you just gave up more CS for nothing. Like, that lead that you perceive to have right now is not going to mean a whole lot if he actually does farm up. If he ends up with a CS lead on you, those kills don't mean shit. Just for the record. I would love to see what the CS looks like right now, actually. Jesus, man. What am I watching? Oh, hang on. Here we go. 
Like, you have the same CS despite that. There's only one kill separating you. This is not, like, particularly huge stuff. But, I mean, now you have an opportunity to kill him again, which is fine. But, <clears throat> like, the lead could be so much grander just despite that. Because we're just not actually like playing to the strengths of la of our wave or our lane. You got this massive wave crashing in now. The good news is that if you actually get this kill under tower, then like it won't be the worst thing in the world because you'll actually have that like that gold lead as well. Oh, I can't even see us. That that's fucking saddening. This is very painful. He's gonna get all of the CS for free. Oh, you just took Talia. You are so dead. Did he wasted that? I really thought Jacko was just gonna go for you and just fully like try to blast you there. How weird. That's what I was expecting to happen. What the The worst part is that you wasted barrier as well. Like, no one was even attacking you and you wasted barrier. That's just... It's beyond sad at that point. Like, you, you need to understand. Like, when, when you're in a fight like this, hang on. Like, you have to perceive, like, what they have available. Like, obviously, you've got your summoners, which means, like, Corky doesn't have his flash, but he has his barrier, which means he's going to try and, like, force that in. Like, you have that. Even if you just close range ult him, he would just be stuck there. But pressing both of those doesn't mean shit. And then just randomly firing off your ultimate because you don't know, like, where you're... Like, at least aim where it's going to go. Because the worst part is that, like, he doesn't even have to look at you to make this worse. And you don't have barrier to actually, like... Oh man! Like you've got a pure, a purely easy line, like line of sight to work with there. There's nothing that can actually make this difficult for you, but you're just making this worse. <clears throat> like you all have the same CS now, despite that. That's just insane to me. This is free. When, when I when I want spacing, when I think of spacing, all I think of is like, why would you be running forwards like this? You should be sitting like here and just peppering targets from the outside. Like your job is not to not to do anything but stay alive here. The fact that, like, Vi could easily just click on you because you're standing right there in the open, like, it's just bad, but you're just... You only make this easier for the enemy to kill you. Like, at least there's a trade in your favor, but this could have been done without you dying. You're just not paying attention to your position at all. <clears throat> I mean, you don't have to hold it out at all. Yeah, this only is made worse by the fact that you are just now essentially behind in CS. Nice ult. But, uh, yeah. I would have to commit quite heavily to that. I wouldn't really expect that to happen in gold unless they knew what they were doing. Still got it though, so that's okay. You just don't get an assist. But at least Ari will be the carry today. You, on the other hand, will not be at this current pace. Just gonna keep walking into the skill shots as well. Oh, yeah, 
So now the big issue is that you're obviously going to be zoned away, and you don't have the uh, you don't have the chops or the damage to be able to actually manage like a fight at the moment. You have to purely rely on Blitzcrank to stay ahead of you, which isn't particularly the worst. One thing you need to remember is that you did spend barrier this time and it was spent correctly, which means you can't exactly re-engage that. Better. It's <laughs> <laughs> just silly. It's it's just very rough watching that happen. But yeah, at least we got a kill out of it, so that's reasonable. I will remark that it is a little bit late to be buying a refillable pot. You would have been fine just buying the one the one normal pot and just hanging out for a bit. Because <clears throat> by 15 minutes you have to sell it back anyway and it's not particularly worth it. We are hanging on to a butt ton of vision though, so I'm really wondering how that's going to go from here. Oh, he went for it. He just straight up went for it. We didn't... Oh boy, that's just silly. I mean, we already know what the fake is, so don't attack it. I say maybe there's a chance you kill off the the corky before that happens, but at least Ari's there for you. That was funny. I don't. I say I don't think you realise that like you're going to get flanked if you hang out there though. Oh man. When stuff like this is happening, right? I need you to understand something very clear. If no one's visible on the map and that is completely dark. Why aren't we using Hawk beforehand? Like, you have all the time in the world to have figured this out. Nothing is happening. We, we don't use... Like, what's the point in playing Ash if you don't use Hawk to check for anything? Like, yeah, it's it's sad that he goes in and dies for that. But, like, yeah, he's gonna... He's definitely gonna have to cop that. But why aren't we? Like, if Vi is not visible on anywhere else on the map, you would have to just believe that she's going to be near you. <clears throat> the fact that you don't use Hawk at all to check for that... And then, yeah, just end up in this position. And that is what throws look like right there. Just doing shit like that and not being prepared for the consequences. This is a strange ult. Because, I mean, even if it hits Vi, what does that mean? Like what? What's what does that solve? Now you're 90 seconds without your ulti. What does that? What does that solve? What does that help? <clears throat> we're at almost. We're at 14 minutes, and you have 60 CS. That should tell you immediately just how rough this is going to get for you. We are remembering to use the hawk now, which is helpful. We spotted by. So even if he hits that fucking, even if he hits that hook, how's he gonna how's he gonna kill anything? Also, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you did. I, I find this I find this incredibly silly that you actually used your hawk to check that Vi was there. <clears throat> If it's ranked solo, you can't have more than one pre-made. And you can quite clearly tell that they've <laughs> that their bot lane is not a pre-made. <clears throat> but 
But like the funny thing is that you literally did like reveal that they were that the Vi was there, and your best your best like action after that was to do that. That was your best idea. <clears throat> They go for the dive, you hitting an ult would have been good there, but I don't think that's gonna happen, is it? I mean, they're gonna come to you right now. If you shoot an ulti that way, it's gonna hit someone in the jungle coming towards you. Ooh, we just missed that, apparently. That's interesting. But you about to say, you would know that she's there. Just playing a little bit too fast and loose with it there. Oh dear. I mean, you can grab the plan and keep going if you wanted to. Oh, we decided to go home. Okay. Is it your big plan now should be to just try and farm to... You have... Okay, we didn't buy the pickaxe. All right, then. Because yeah, your big plan now is apparently like <clears throat> to go for IE and like try and make up the difference. But the the problem now is that like you know you don't you don't have PD yet, and you are absolutely stuck for for the duel. You are not going to win any of these fights even with barrier available. I don't understand why you would try and fight that. <clears throat> like all that early game fighting hasn't really paid off because you haven't actually like farmed despite that like he is still ahead of you on farm he has one extra kill now comparative he has died like two less he has had the opportunity to do whatever he wants and you're selling everything in your inventory to try and grab a <clears throat> try and grab a bf sword which you probably could have waited for actually you could have just sold the refill and bought the the thing for it. <sighs> but yeah, we're at 18 minutes and we're not, not even close to completing a second item. That is a very like large indicator of just how weak your like laning <clears throat> your laning phase was like sure you got a kill out of it and that's nice and all but doesn't mean much really tried Yeah, all you're capable of doing right now is, like, barely farming. <laughs> it's an alt moment. Yeah, way too late. He doesn't have ult either, so you know you can chase him down. That's fine. I feel like part of that was, like, understanding that too late, but that's okay. <clears throat> That is a strangely weak teleport. Just overforced it again. I'm sure in your head, 
you think this is a or rather was a good idea to like you know to go for that fight but I don't think you're actually planning this out particularly strongly you don't have the the items you don't have a lead for that matter I'm pretty sure Corky's already got a second item then you have to look at the actual just state of my soul I think you have to realize that you are basically a glorified support at this point. You have very much thrown away any opportunity to be a carry, and that really is showing. But yeah, if we don't manage to make it up to get to that dragon, so they take it. I don't think there is a single person on the enemy team that you can like remotely farm against without getting run over. Which I understand is why you've relegated yourself to the jungle, but you should be farming back on a turret at most. <clears throat> like top lane might be a better choice. And hopefully Sion can like go bot side and like work it out. But I think I think everyone is just resigned to the fact that you are just a burden now. And because of all the dying and all the silly shit that you have done. It's actually just become like very hard for, the, for your teammates to believe that you are going to scale at any point. Like you and your jungler are both incredibly heavy right now in this game. I say that is definitely not your sound doing that for the record. Nice dodge. Don't know why we didn't just keep dodging down the other way so that he would have had to run through your base, but that's fine. He actually entered it, so we take those. At least grab the plant if you're going to hang around and farm. That's fine. They just entered it again. This is very strange. This is some strange gameplay. <clears throat> But yeah, like, the problem now is that you're basically going to be just picketing random parts of the map to try and, like, find any semblance of farm. But it would actually still be better spent on getting Ari to a, to a third or fourth item, or third item at this point. It would be better off letting Ari get to a third item rather than you actually, like, remotely getting there because you're just too far back on farm. Unless you get, like, the world's biggest shutdown, it's only going to be harder for you to actually, like, work that out. I also just want to make this clear now. Do you really think Legend Bloodline is going to help you here? Because it's not. <laughs> it's not helping you at all. Bloodline is not going to help squat. And... <clears throat> it very much shows in that situation. Oh man, no one on your team is positive. Good lord, it, you had such a like a solid start, but now it's just everyone just inting their brains out just to try and get a kill again, and it's only made funnier by the fact that you're are just so far behind. Should still be going for PD rather than Hurricane. Unfortunate. Well, there was a shutdown. That's fine. I mean, this might result in Baron if, like, you have people around, but... Because <clears throat> Sion can easily tank it. But, honestly, it's too hard to trust it right now. Just because of the sheer lack of just team cohesion going on. And no one's even, like, remotely ahead enough to even make the best of it, so it's just made funnier. I'm somewhat convinced that you are not aware that those are plants that you can actually use. Like, you've walked past a lot of plants and not, like, not even just knocked them off just to stop the enemy from having them. I don't know. It seems a bit strange. <coughs> Pardon me. Still haven't killed a cannon minion in about, what, 15 minutes either? That's pretty rough.
You're very much limiting your own farming capability by not actually last hitting. It's very, very painful to watch. Like, you should have at least 100 more CS right now. Easily. Especially considering how simple your laning phase was. Like, you should definitely have more out of that, but you are not, like, working towards that at all. Absolutely no reason to do anything other than run upwards there, but it's, yeah, I guess it's your own fault for being in that spot in the first place. They were all alive. You're Ash. You have Hawk. Why aren't we using it? Why aren't we checking? It's very silly. I'm just looking at Sion's position on the map and it's very funny to me. Don't, don't mind me, just, you know, mildly enjoying that laugh. <laughs> Sion is still alive in their backline somewhere, this is very funny. <laughs> this is very silly. Oh dear. Okay. What's the point in ulting that? Like, that doesn't set up anything. It doesn't start anything. It just... What? Does it make you feel nice? Is, is that what it is? It just makes you feel nice. But yeah, by this point in the game now, you would probably be wanting your top laner on bot side, and you just have enough vision around Baron to stop them from doing something silly around... Ba Wait, what the hell? He just gave that away? Bro. Oh, Gold is a fucking different beast, eh? Some shit. What I was gonna say was, like, you'd want Sion to be hard pushing bot and you just have enough vision around Baron to possibly take it back. Have you even used your blue tricket yet? <laughs> I don't even think you have. I don't recall you using it. Like, I feel like there's there's this, like, unwritten rule where, like, players know what they should be getting, but they don't know how they should be using it. And it's just this really weird, like... <laughs> it's this weird flow of, like, the same shit. Like, like, you're playing as Ash. You have all this vision, all these vision tools, and they just do not get used at all. It is really weird. <clears throat> Like, there are three people bot side. We, we are really hoping this is what you would have, what would have come about from it, right? The obvious issue being that you do negative damage to Baron, but that's okay. Surely you ult the Vi and kill her. That's alright. That's a, that's a win now. You take Baron for free. She definitely can't get it now. I actually hate this game. I hate that you do so little damage that like it took so long for you to kill Baron. I hate that when this... I hate that suddenly we became challenger players about when to turn like in these particular fights. Like That's crazy. Like We actually could have just turned on by and killed her right there. She flashes out. <clears throat> we go back on to Baron. And then everyone suddenly turns on to Corky and kills him leaving you to get completely peeled out like it's fine that you could kill the, him there but like why does this take just insane like <laughs> just insane like it absolutely irks me right now just how long it took to get to this point and no one was actually able to do anything with it. It's just so weird to me. But yeah.
You had all the opportunity in the world to guarantee that fight. <laughs> but unfortunately, yeah, split pro like split process between the two of you and they just take it over. The good news is only I think only Shaco has the Baron buff and Nasus. But Nasus will definitely roll over all of you. <clears throat> This is this is the Aussie that we come to come to appreciate here. Uh, I think you just love O Solik here. I don't think there is a single like person in the right right now. I mean, the good news is that Nasus will die without a thought in the world, so that's fine. But... <clears throat> oh, dear. So you're trying to kite back like this and you don't have PD. That's just very, very strange to me. Like Ghost Flash probably would have done you well by actually being able to sell it, separate yourself in some of these fights. Wow. That's just strange, isn't it? My people know only cold. But yeah, they got soul off that. <clears throat> no surprises there. But yeah, this game starts going horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. Like the moment that like you've got you get this fake lead in lane and you don't use it to actually like get a CS lead. And because of that, like their jungler and their mid laner just start really starting to gain ground and you just lose. <clears throat> I don't know what you think is going to happen by you staying around, but I'm pretty sure this is going to end with your head on a platter. Sell the Dorans. Sell the Dorans. Why aren't we selling the Dorans? Would have put you in a good spot, but oh well. <clears throat> I really think that just like right now, even though this game is still winnable, it would actually be like such a hard slog. Because, like, no one is using their fucking vision at all. Like, you especially. Like, you, how do you have two Hawkshot charges still? Like, you need to know what side they're traveling on, so you can at least figure this out. Like, it's just so much easier when you're, like, aware of that. But uh, that's, that's not, like, really ticking over for you, is it? Like, they're corky as pushing bot side. I don't think, like, you have the wherewithal to actually go ahead and fight that fucking Silas because everyone's too worried about the state of... Yeah, you saw that coming. No, the wherewithal to actually realize that, like, you know, like, they're going to get either flanked by, by jungler presence or you're just going to get ro run over by their bot lane split push. Like, it's... How do we not pull the trigger on that faster? Like, it has to be done way faster with, like, better... Why, why did you leave bot side? Like, that, that wave is worth more than anything else going on in this game anyway, even if you lose that, like, that inhibitor. Oh, we have hopes right here. I didn't check if they have teleport. I assume they have teleport. <clears throat> But you don't, and you're bot side for some reason.
this 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 is what we're all turning up for at this point, right? But I assume this is the buying elixir, so you can be late to this fight. Then okay, but no, we didn't even buy the elixir. We just we just walked. <coughs> What was the point in farming that then? You could have actually been in, in place to do this. I mean, the good news is you managed to snipe the kill on Silas with that, but that's hilarious in and of itself. I do love that your teammates were pinging Baron, and instead of just like helping them with that, you actually decided to hang out and almost get yourself killed by Vi for nothing. But at least now, like, <clears throat> at least now that's changed, but I don't think you were prepared for that at all. Oh boy. The question is, what are you going to buy now? That's the real question. I assume probably BT. My tribe will bring peace to the north. The south should fear us. But that's what worries me is that like we're still not like utilizing that vision at all. Like, if those hawk charges aren't being spent, then what of it, you know? Like, does that not, like, irk anyone else? Like, we know dragons on, on the menu. We know you have Baron. Why aren't we fucking... Why aren't we trying to hawk it? Why aren't we trying to get, like, an entrance way in? <clears throat> I hate this so much. I hate that we're about to walk in blind for this without even, like, any sort of attempt at all. Like, they're currently three and two on opposite sides, and we can't even, like, exploit that because no vision. Despite the fact that you are Ash. Well, Tenacity takes over for that, so that's a pretty weak start for you. Where he... Oh, I say, surely he didn't come back in. I feel like you should have known that. Just... Just another, just classic int. <clears throat> We're just standing too far forwards knowing that that's fake. No one was pushing our bot side fast enough either, so now we're in even more trouble. The BF sword is worth way more than the fucking Doran's blade, man. Come on. At least pretend you understand, like, what's going on with the items in this game. What a nightmare. I really don't understand. Like, the fact that this game lasted as long as it did is just a testament to how fucking piss weak, like, Q is. Good lord. Oh boy. What a what a horrible match that was. I, I gotta just make this like as clear as possible, right? Like there is no you absolutely zero universe where you as an AD carry should be doing nothing other than farming. Like as a general rule. <clears throat> the amount of like overextending that just happened in fact this good CS I think is a lie for the record. You were so behind the par for like the longest time, and the fact that this even like came like became a thing otherwise is just crazy. Sat on that Doran's item for way too long, with three K gold in the pocket, which is just nasty to me. But yeah, this is only made worse by the fact that like I'm not even gonna go like hard into your like comments about like vision and all that because you know. I don't expect things to be amazing, but I definitely expected them to be better. Like, you're Ash, for God's sake. You have Hawk charges. You can use them. 
they were just not being utilized at all and you got flanked like three or four times because you just were not prepared for that at all even on one occasion where you used it and just completely ignored the information that it gave you that's just balls out strange to me i understand that like you know everyone just wants to fight and do this thing but there are definitely better times to fight and better times to farm and they were quite clearly like position on your map when you could like have easily just pushed back bot lane before going to that dragon fight and use that hawk to your advantage but no we didn't want to do that or you know just actually posturing around baron whilst Sion was getting his shit kicked in not oh no we can suddenly go to baron whilst Sion is half dead like if you actually are prepared for that faster and you actually like blink around like you actually like ping around the map faster like surely that works out to be easier for you but we just were neglecting it the whole way through. I just can't, I can't fathom in any universe that that is a good idea. And I don't think that's like, I don't think that's really registering to you either. So, yeah, I would really appreciate it if you just paid attention in general more to your position, to your enemy's position, and just to the state of the lane. We just let like way too much CS go with these weird like pushbacks between like lane theaters. Like I get that you're Ash and you're trying to use W to poke, but you're just sending it into the wave and it's just killing the wave off faster than you can actually CS it. Also, ch fix your runes. They're just, they're just a necessity at this point. <clears throat> and yeah, PD over Runan at this point as well. It's just better in every way. I don't see a universe where like PD is really going to get overridden at this point. So I would really just suggest going for that. Okay. Yeah, either way. I don't, I'm not going to say that this is looking promising because I think this is actually a little bit weaker than what you have produced previously, man. Like, I get that, like, <clears throat> you know, life takes over and all that, but if you're going to be playing this game with the intent of going up in rank, I would really, really suggest just paying more attention. I feel like you just kind of let this slide. Like, we, I could hear you, like, you know, sighing disdainfully at a few points in this game, and I don't think that was, like, really registering just, like, how easily those things could have been avoided. But, yeah, either way. Hope you all enjoyed my absolute croaky mess of a voice on this uh, on this sample. Um, <clears throat> when I'm a little more alive, there'll obviously be more content coming, especially for the patrons. So do consider signing up to my Patreon, patreon.com slash rec9. If you are looking for coaching from me, you can find that information on my website or in my Discord. They're both in the description below. Either way, hope you all enjoyed. Love you all. Best to you. Thanks very much. Support the rest.